there's a lady I counseled and as was is one of the stories that I can hardly forget because her father actually groomed her to believe that she was doing him a favor and she was showing him love. Okay, by the time I met this lady, she was 18. Okay, and okay, so her mom died while she was too young. So her father practically raised her himself. Uh, got married to another lady that was maltreating her, left the lady. So basically, it was just both of them for a long period of time. So from there, he groomed her, started sleeping with her. By the time I met her, you know, we were trying to get her to see that this is wrong. You shouldn't be sleeping with your father. She was like, no, my father loves me and I love him too. Oh my God. So it was, it was, it was rape that he groomed her for. You know, but he had groomed that to the point where she believed it was normal. And, you know, the father made her believe that he, he didn't want to go outside. He did not want to bring in another woman that would maltreat her. So the best thing they could do is to help each other and love each other. And that was the best way to show our love. Okay, so, and we have a lot of cases like this. I don't know if it doesn't happen in other countries, but I've heard a lot of cases like this. I think grooming is, grooming is, it's, it's evil, but it happens a lot of times, even in relationships, like normal relationships. I've heard stories of um, ladies. I hear ladies' stories a lot because I work with women, okay? So I know guys who have their fair share. Yeah, well, I will say ladies. You know, and, you know, the boyfriend is grooming her. I say, you know, we're going to get married. Let's just have sex. She doesn't want to do it, but she doesn't want to lose the guy. Right. You know, there's this thing they are saying now that um, I was going to come to, we're going to get to certain years where guys will not be enough for the ladies in the world. So if you have anyone, just hold on to him so you don't lose him, okay? I don't know who started that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're in a relationship, the guys are, you, you know it is abuse because you don't want to do it, okay? Mm. But you don't want to let him go because you don't want to be alone, okay? So, um, like Shivani said, aside the parents, well, I think it still boils down to the parents, you should train your child um, while raising your child, you should help them discover themselves, see the value, how valuable they have so that they don't have to depend on another person to get perceived value. Right, right. Okay, because that's something uh, most abusers use. Those that do not use force, that know that, okay, this girl can actually walk away if she wants to walk away. They make you attach your value to them. They make you feel like, if you leave me, you, you have no value at all. Yeah. Okay, right. so we have our parents, we have the society, you know, and then there's this trend of... Um, sexualizing ladies you know almost every musical video the lady is almost naked but yeah yeah, yeah. okay um there's a recent story in nigeria i'm not really following it because i don't know the person okay so some years back a female ad artist musician she uh, a sex tape was released mm -hmm. you know there was a lot of bashing how can you do this you no know, respect you especially from females Okay, early this year, I don't know when it happened, but recently, a musician, a male musician had the same uh, episode. His sex tape was released. And you see the same ladies hailing him and saying, well, I, I couldn't even follow the story because it was disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Ali, um, females. I think sometimes we are the one handing over the keys to the abusers. We make them feel like, okay, you can do anything you want with me, as long as you stay with me. Okay, so we have to, um, for every one of us that know better, you know, we have to look at educating ladies, even guys. Okay, I'm trying not to leave the guys out because I've had a couple of guys tell me about how they were raped by. Listen, the, you, the, you speak from your own experience. There is, there's, there's a room for, there's a lot of room for men to talk, and Joseph and I are going to be getting more men to talk because we realize there's a problem. But speak from your experience. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So, um, so we need to teach ladies to find value in themselves. I'm happy that Shibrani does self-development coaching. I think the same with FIFO. We need to build our ladies to the point where they know that I am enough in myself. 